Alright, Shalom. I'd like to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, which means in the name of the only begotten, Yahweh, Bahashem, in the name, Rachakwadash, which is the Holy Spirit. Alright. <clears throat> Double honors unto my elder apostles and my elders, a great millstone or GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, this is the brother Atazaria from GMS Houston. And I'm going to get right into this lesson. All right. Um, and I'm going to go straight to the book of Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. And I'm going to start at verse one. It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. Okay. Who are the righteous? All right. As a matter of fact, let's get a couple of scriptures on who the righteous is. Okay. Because the righteous is going to be doing what thus says Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, doing the will of the Heavenly Father. All right, let's start off with, uh, let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes. All right, let's go to Ecclesiastes. Let me get it here. Chapter 12 and verse 13. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Heavenly Father, okay? That's where it starts, all right? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay? It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Heavenly Father, all right? So you're going to obey the Creator, okay, if you fear Him. If you don't fear the Heavenly Father, you're not going to obey Him, okay? And that's what's lacking. That's what it's not in these so-called churches because they tell you that God loves everybody. So there's no fear of the Lord. That's why these so-called Christians, they do do whatever is pleasing to them, okay? Just look at the choir director, okay? Look at the the pastor and the and the the uh the ways they conduct themselves and the things that they do. And I don't have to go into detail, okay? These pastors are nothing but but uh wolves in sheep clothing. Okay, the choir director, he's usually a fruit, okay? He's usually a fruit, man. You just look at the so-called church, man, okay? And you think the Heavenly Father is pleased with these things? Of course not. And what goes on in these harlot houses? One of the biggest things is adultery, man, okay? All right, and they're not teaching the truth, all right? <clears throat> it says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Heavenly Father, all right, and keep his commandments. And they tell you in the so-called church that the commandments are done away with. Well, then how can you sin? Because sin is transgression of the law, okay? So it makes no sense. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Heavenly Father and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. This is what is well pleasing unto the heavenly father. All right. It says for the heavenly father shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Okay. The most high is going to judge everything, man. Whether it be good or whether it be evil, whether it be right out in the open or whether it be in secret. Okay. So we want to be doing what is well pleasing unto the Lord. These, this is what uh, makes you right. Okay, doing what is right in the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, so let me read this again. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous stand in great boldness. Okay, making our bodies a living sacrifice. Okay, out there as we're commanded to do on the highways and the byways. All right, full of power. And as I bring out all the time, let me go to Micah 3 and 8. All right, because it's not of our own power. It's of the Heavenly Father and His Son, okay, and the Holy Spirit. This is Micah 3 and 8. But truly I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and of judgment, because when we're out there, we're, we're telling the world the judgment. If you do this, this is going to happen. You continue in your ways, you're going to be destroyed. Okay? If you're doing this, repent. That's wrong. Okay? 
making judgments. And we are judges. Okay? But truly I am full of power, Micah 3 and 8, by the Spirit of the Lord. So it's the Lord that put the Spirit in us to go out and do this. Okay? And of judgment and of might to declare unto Jacob. Okay? Who is Jacob? All right? His transgression and to Israel his sin. Okay? Who is Israel? Okay? The 12 tribes of Israel, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, or the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom. Okay? And what is transgression? Transgression is the breaking of the law, which causes what? Sin. Okay? And we're doing the same thing the Lord was doing. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay? We're out there preaching repentance. Get yourself right, because the Lord is about to return. Okay? It says, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Oh, and I didn't bring out that scripture. Let me go to the book of Romans. All right? Uh, Alright, this is Romans 12 and 1 I beseech you therefore brethren Okay By the mercies of the heavenly father That you present your bodies A living sacrifice Holy, separate Okay, pure Okay And how do you do that? By not going against What the most high has commanded us to do that separates you. That makes you more pure. Okay? Just like water. When water is not pure, it's what? Full of, full of trash. And in this case, the trash would be doing the things that are, are pleasing to the flesh. Which causes us to go off. Okay? Example. Uh, smoking. Stop smoking. Okay? Because now you're defiling the temple of the Lord. Okay? It says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Heavenly Father, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. All right? And that's what we out there doing, man. Presenting our bodies a living sacrifice. Okay? Holy acceptable unto the heavenly father these this is what is acceptable unto the most high and this is a commandment which is your reasonable service was not our lord and savior sacrificed for the nation of israel his blood was shed for our sins of course okay this is our reasonable service the servant is not above the master okay uh, verse 2 It says and be not conformed to this world Don't take on the form of this world Okay Be different As far as following what Thus said the Lord what is will pleasing Unto the heavenly father Okay Not the ways of this world Because this world is, is, is condemned Okay And there's a reason why the Lord, the, the, the heavenly, uh, the scripture says that the most high said that if you're a friend of this world, then you're an enemy of him. Okay, roughly paraphrasing. It says, and be not conformed to this world, because this world is going to be destroyed. For the way that the, the conversation of this world, the way that the, the, the way that people carry themselves through this place, man. Okay, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed, transformed by the renewing of your mind, being born again. Okay, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the heavenly Father. See, so that's what we out there doing. Okay, the will of the Most High. That's acceptable. That is what's good. Okay. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand. And this is the Israelite man. Okay. Period. Point blank. Not 
these apologists, so-called apologists like vocab no class Malone, okay? Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. Who's afflicted us? Okay? Esau Edom, the so-called white man, okay? Starting with the elites, okay, of, the, of, of these societies, okay? They've afflicted us and made no account of his labors, okay? We do all the work. And we at the bottom of the barrel, man. Okay. It says, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. And we get that look, man. Okay. See, this is it's good as long as niggas is nigging. But when we stand up in great boldness through the power and the spirit of the Lord, man, it's an amazement and an astonishment to them. Like, what are they doing? They don't look like the, these other Negroes, these other Latinos, these other Native Americans. They out there preaching, saying things that are contrary to what we believe in our so-called Christianity, what we've been taught all our lives. What are they, what's going on? We've never seen this before. And it's, it's, it's a fearful thing to them because something is different. And since we've been going out, Starting with our apostles, this place has been crumbling. You see? This place has been coming to an end faster. Okay? It says, when they see it, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 2, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all that they look for. Hey, exactly, man. These people are going to freak, okay? Nobody don't, they don't believe the message. The majority of the people of this world, they don't believe the message, man, okay? UFOs are going to come and beam them out of here. Yeah, absolutely. The elect shall scarcely be saved, okay? And that's according to uh, 1 Peter 4. As a matter of fact, let me get that. Let's go to 1 Peter 4. And uh, let's see. 4 and 18. This is 1 Peter 4 and 18. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, and again, we know who the righteous are, the elect. Because the elect is going to be doing the will of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh It says, And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? <laughs> Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of the Heavenly Father commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing. As unto a faithful creator. You see? Let's go back. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all that they looked for. Ain't nobody looking for that. Even Israelites. They got Israel like Ron Dalton. Talking down on the chariots, man. Okay? That's because you have no understanding, my man. You know a little bit here. You know you're an Israelite. Not too much more than that. Okay? It says, verse 3, And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he? Whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. Hey, and that, you know, that's what, that's what we, uh, that's how they look at us. A reproach and a proverb and a byword, man. Okay. Them. Yeah. Those ragtag guys out there preaching repentance. 
in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Yep. See, the underdog is going to win, man. And nobody expect for us to win. That's the beauty of this thing. And the Most High is going to show his power through that little sanctuary. Beautiful. Yapa. All right. And they're going to look at it. They're going to be suffering, man. They're going to feel it like a fire. And have a whole change of mind, a whole change of heart in an instant. Good riddance. Verse 4, we fools, dang, that's what they are, fools, accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. We just out there wasting our time. Why don't you get a job? Y'all ain't got nothing better to do. Not here with those robes and dresses on, whatever that is. Okay, well, we're going to do what we do. Y'all do what y'all do. And we're going to see. That's it, man. At the end of the day, we're going to see. This is where our faith lies. Okay? Verse 5. How is he numbered among the children of the Heavenly Father and his lot is among the saints. You see? <laughs> and that's it, man. That's it. This whole thing is strangeness. Okay? But the deliverance, man. These people are going to freak. Okay? And that's it on this lesson. I just wanted to hit that. All right? With the Solomon 5. And uh, Lord willing, this was edifying. And this is about to, this is getting ready to happen. Well, it's already happening, but the deliverance is getting ready to happen, man. Okay? And everybody's got their lot. All right? So with that, Lord willing, this was edifying. All right? And uplifting. Okay? And it's on to the next one. Until then, I say shallow warm.